Okay, so today we're doing molecular formulas. So, molecular formulas, let's highlight that. It says sometimes the smallest ratio of subscripts is not the true formula of the molecule. So benzene has the formula C6H6, okay? It says if we were to use the empirical formula for benzene, it would give C1H1 or just CH because we never write the ones. It says this is the empirical formula, it's not the formula of benzene. In order to determine the molecular formula, we must have one more step to the empirical formula procedure. So, um, but what, look at the ratio, right? It's, this is one to one, right? And this is six to six, which is essentially one to one. So that means that the molecular formula is a multiple of the empirical. Okay, so that's kind of key here, okay? So, so when you're calculating the molecular, you have to do the empirical first, okay? So there's an example, we're gonna skip down and do 24, so 24. It says we have nicotine. Nicotine contains 74% carbon, 8.7% hydrogen, and 17.3% nitrogen. If the molar mass is this, what is the molecular? Okay, so they gave you a mass. We're gonna save that for the end. So first, we're gonna figure out the empirical formula for all of this first. So we have carbon and hydrogen and nitrogen. Okay, and so carbon is 74.0 grams percent, same thing for these purposes. And the molar mass of carbon is 12.01. And for hydrogen, it's 8.7. The molar mass of hydrogen is 1.01. .01. For nitrogen, it's 17.3. And the molar mass of nitrogen is 14.01. .01. So we're gonna divide each of these numbers first, okay? So 74 divided by 12.01. And we wanna go three non-zero numbers past the decimal. So then that gives us 6.162. 8.7 over 1.01 .01 gives us 8.614. And then nitrogen, 17.3 over 14.01 .01 gives us 1.235. So then we divide each of these numbers by the smallest, which is the 1.235. So obviously nitrogen is one. Okay, and then the others. So for carbon, it's gonna be that divided by that and you get about five. And for hydrogen, it's that number divided by that number, and you get about seven, okay? So the empirical formula is C5H7N, okay? So next thing you need to do is find the um, find the molar mass of the empirical formula. Okay, so that's gonna be five times 12.01 plus seven times 1.01 plus 14.01. And so you get 81.13 grams per mole. They gave you the mass of what nicotine really is. The molar mass of nicotine is really 162, okay? the empirical mass is this. So remember I said that molecular formula is a multiple of the empirical, so you have to figure out which multiple. So you're gonna take the molecular mass and divide it by the empirical mass, and you get something called the empirical formula unit. All it is is what you multiply the subscripts by. So for this, I get about two. You can eyeball that and figure it out, right? 160 over 80 is about two, okay? So then that means that I'm going to multiply each of these subscripts by two. 
there's one there technically even though we don't typically write it so then the actual formula is C10 H14 N2 so that's the actual formula for nicotine okay now um, what about conceptually like how how do I determine molecular formulas conceptually so let's have kind of an example 25 okay so let's say I have um, let's say I have a question and I say um, which um, which have the same empirical formulas okay so let's say I have some options here so I have this one and this one and this one and this one and this one okay so I have these numbers I'm sorry formulas so then what you want to do is look at the ratio of atoms and what they're made of okay so almost all of them have CH and O in them one of them has a nitrogen so since that one doesn't match the same formula pattern it has something that the others don't that one is definitely not the answer okay so let's look at the others let's look at the ratios so the ratio of carbon to hydrogen to oxygen for this one is 3 to 8 to 8 and we can't reduce that so that's 3 to 8 to 8 for this one it's 6 to 12 to 6 which can be reduced to 1 to 2 to 1 and then this one it is 1 to 2 to 1 which you cannot reduce and this one you have 10 to 20 to 10 which can be reduced to 1 to 2 to 1 so since three of them have the same ratio of atoms and the exact same types of atoms in them then answer 2 4 and 5 all have the same empirical formula so one does not okay the ratio doesn't match so it's not the same okay okay I'm going to briefly put up the answers to your homework so you're going to want to um, pause the video so you can check your homework okay And then there's the rest of number five. Again, pause the video so you can check it all. And then there's um, page eight. Pause the video. And then there's number nine and 10. And hopefully you noticed on number eight and number nine, um, they were really tiny numbers, and I don't feel like putting them in scientific notation over and over, so I just put them as real numbers, just they were small. Okay, and you have all of the answers to page nine. I gave you all the answers, so hopefully you understood that. If not, I'll be back next week. You can ask me. And the answers to page 10 should be on the board, and you can copy those down. So you have all the answers I expect to see all the work when I check your homework. Have a lovely weekend.